that can I teach da'wah though nobody embraced Islam, accepted Islam, or said the kalima on my hands? Yeah, the answer is yes. There's no problem in that. It is not a um, defining um, a character that how many people accepted Islam. You may find someone that thousands of people accepted Islam and he ends up in hell because he was not practicing, he was not righteous, he was not doing it for the sake of Allah. Allah knows. And you might fight, find people who, mashallah, are sincere and, and uh, devoted to da'wah, but no one accepted Islam through them, though they were the means of them accepting Islam later on on someone else's hands. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that I saw, he says, the Prophet ﷺ, he says, I saw the Prophet with huge amount of followers, and I saw the Prophet with few followers, and I saw the Prophet with a man or two following him, and I saw the Prophet without any person following him. So imagine a Prophet of Allah, and no one accepted his call. Should he had sit uh, 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 in his home, not give da'wah because nobody answered him? No. You do what you're supposed to do as a da'i. You do what Allah tells you to do, but you don't care about the consequences. If there is good in it, Allah Azza wa will make it happen. If not, then you have uh, uh, fulfilled your role and responsibility.